Let's have a look at how we can use vectors to solve projectiles problems. And a projectile is an object propelled into space by force, for example bullets or tennis balls. And in this case we're going to do a relatively simplified example where we assume gravity is the only force acting on the projectile. And we're also going to work in just two-dimensional space where the x-axis is horizontal and the y-axis is vertical. And what this means is that in that case the acceleration vector A will be of the form negative g times j, the g being the magnitude of the force due to gravity, and the negative being because gravity acts downwards, and gravity acts vertically, so that's why it's in terms of vector j. And so working to two decimal places, that means a, the acceleration, is negative 9.81j for this type of problem. So in the following example, a tennis ball is served horizontally from 2.5 metres above the ground at 30 metres per second. And let's start by finding the velocity. Now, acceleration is the rate of change of velocity with respect to time. Therefore, to find the velocity from the acceleration, we must use anti-differentiation. In other words, we'll be integrating the acceleration with respect to time t, where before we saw the acceleration was of the form negative 9.81j. Hence, working out this integral is going to give us v equal to negative 9.81t times j, plus a constant vector c, where because we're talking in two-dimensional vectors, the constant vector c has both a component C1i and another component C2j. And to work it out for the particular problem we're looking at, we want to find the value of this constant vector. And I'm calling this initial equation for the velocity 1. And we actually use initial conditions at time 0 to find the value of the constant vector. Because we were told in this problem that we're looking at a horizontal serve initially which means if we take the angle theta relative to the horizontal, that's 0 degrees, and we were told this was at 30 metres per second. And that means the initial velocity v naught is going to be 30 times cos 0 degrees i plus 30 sine 0 degrees times j. And more generally, if it had been fired at an angle, it would be the magnitude of the velocity times the cosine of that angle times i for the horizontal component of the initial velocity and then 30 times or the initial speed times the sine of that angle times j for the vertical component. In this case because cos 0 is 1 and sine 0 is 0 that just simplifies to give us v naught equal to 30i which I'll call equation 2. But we could also work out an equivalent expression for the initial velocity by simply substituting t as 0 into equation 1, which would give us v naught equals negative 9.81 times 0 for t times j plus constant vector, meaning that v naught is also in fact that first bit's 0, so in this case v naught is also the vector c. Therefore, looking at equations 2 and 3, they're both expressions for the same thing, v naught, so we can equate their right-hand sides to find here that the constant vector c is in fact equal to 30i in this case. So we can now substitute c into our initial equation 1 for the velocity, which tells us for this example the velocity is negative 9.81tj plus 30i. And just for tidiness, we'd usually rewrite this with i first, then j. So that is the initial velocity of the projectile. The next thing we might want to do is find the position vector of the projectile at any time t seconds. And velocity is the rate of change of displacement with respect to time. And so it follows that we can actually go back the other way and work out the position vector r as the integral of the velocity v with respect to time t. So in the previous part we found here that the velocity was equal to 30i minus 9.81tj. So we're now integrating that to find the position vector r here. 
and so integrating term by term again 30i that will become 30ti minus 9.81tj that will become minus 9.81t squared divided by 2 all times j and again this will be plus a constant vector which I'll call d in this case hence that gives us r is equal to 30ti minus 4.905 t squared j plus constant vector d and once again we want to find out what our constant vector is d in this case so therefore again initial conditions can help us out and we were told in the question that the ball was served from a vertical distance 2.5 meters above the ground therefore r naught is going to be 2.5 j since we're talking about height above the ground and in our equation for r if we call that let's say equation 4 if we substitute t equals 0 into that we get r 0 equal to 30 times 0 times i minus 4.905 times 0 squared times j plus d so again these terms just go to 0 giving us r at time 0 is the vector d so equating the right hand sides of these two expressions for r naught then tells us that the constant vector d is 2.5j in this case hence substituting that into our equation for r we can see that r in this case is equal to 30ti minus 4.905 t squared j plus 2.5 j and traditionally we'd group any like terms with the vector component so that it could be written for instance as 30 ti plus 2.5 minus 4.905 t squared times j so this is an example of how we can find the velocity and position vector of a projectile at time t given we assume gravity is the only force acting on our projectile.